What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Today, we're going to be talking about Mr. Kyle Trask at practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Not a game. Yeah, well, AI said it. It wasn't a game. <laughs> yeah, we're talking practice. about practice. So, Buck fans, let's simmer down a little bit. It's not like uh, all hell's freezing over. But this is the big thing. Kyle Trask throws a pick in the end zone on two straight plays, one to Troy Warner, the other to Jamel Dean. Dear Lord, what's going on? So let's break this down a little bit. Should Buck fans be worried? No, it, it's practice. Like, you know, you know, Allen Iverson says it best. Um, you know, guys in practice, they're working on certain things. They're trying to get better. They're trying to improve. Uh, Kyle's trying to see what he can get away with, what kind of – you know, windows can he fit footballs into? So it it's not really a big deal. Of course, fans are going to make it bigger than it seems. Um, people forget Jameis Winston was the quarterback here. He threw a lot of <laughs> interceptions in practice. Like, he would have days where he threw five in one practice. So I don't understand what the, the big concern is. You know, let's – the good news is he's getting more reps, and that's that's really nice to see. He's getting the work, and he needs it, obviously, and that's – that's always, um, you know, exciting. And also, look, ooh, trash, trash. <laughs> trash <laughs> bounces back with a nice e ball to Devin Tompkins. Also, you see here in the scenario with a minute 48 left, he didn't go down the field. He, oh, this is Gabber. But um, you see multiple times where he's actually hit people down the field. Trash, yeah, same scenario. Second play goes deep, connects with Smith on a great throw to the sideline, 40-yard passing play. Trash then looking for Stern, just almost intercepted. Oh. So there's ups and downs, but like you just said, a lot of this is him testing it. This is why we have practice, testing his windows, seeing how what he can get away with in practice where in the game he's not going to. There's one thing at Florida he was really good at. It was taking care of the football. And I think this is just him using time that he has to his advantage. And to get upset about that, hey, then there's also wide receivers. Are you running the right route? I mean, Stearns is the first year on the team. Devin Tompkins, same thing. Zion McCollum, yeah, I saw the pass. It was a little underthrown, but to me, when I see the passes he's throwing, there's a lot more zip on him than they were last year. He looks like he's improved his delivery a lot faster, so there's things to get happy with, not just get pissed off about. And I don't know if it's a Gator thing, Seminole yeah. thing. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but realistically, this is practice. Right. Practicing. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, the coaches are talking very highly of him. Todd Bowles yeah. said it again yesterday. He's comfortable in the offense. He's making – decisive decisions so that's a good thing it's not like he's holding the ball on forever he, he's trying to play within rhythm and at times yes it'll get intercepted because he's trying to force you know he's trying to see what he can get away with like you said um, and he's also playing with different receivers constantly so you know trying to build that repertoire the the timing all that stuff takes place you see on a couple of passes from time to time it's like maybe it's a little bit behind because he's working with a new receiver so stuff like that he's just gonna have to continue to get better at but like you said it's an up and down process so far you know he's making really great throws but then at times he's having some you know throws that you wish he could have back but the the bottom line is it's practice it's not like he's doing these in the games which remains to be seen as we go forward here in the preseason like he's gonna play a lot and i think fans are gonna be excited with that because he needs the work yeah, like you see here, Greg Allman reports, Bull said Tom Brady will not play in the Bucks preseason opener versus the Dolphins next week. What does that mean? A lot of Kyle Trask. So let's see. Does he have the same reaction as fans were saying in the in the practice? Is he going to throw a whole bunch of interceptions back-to-back? -back? We'll see. I mean, if you are, I mean, if you're a Jameis fan, you're like, oh, he'll get, he'll come back and he'll throw two touchdowns right back-to-back. -to -back. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know the understanding we have with quarterbacks. I mean, they all can't be Tom Brady. Let's put it that way as well. But they they all aren't going to be Jameis Winston either. So I don't know. It, with me, I'm I'm seeing it as what it is. It's practice. It's him trying to get better, him trying to improve. Mm -hmm. I hear the coaches telling me that he's a lot more confident, a lot more decisive with his decisions. All good things to me. Right. And, I, I you know, last point on this is – I think a lot of fans went into this just looking at the draft pick from 2021 and they, they felt it was wasted. It could have been used on a different position to help the team. People need to realize that all rookies are not the same. They're not all equal. Not every single one of them are going to come into the league and dominate like we've seen from Tristan Wirfs and Antoine Winfield Jr. 
And I, I think a lot of fans get that perception wrong where, okay, he was drafted. He can come right in away and be an all pro player. Like it just doesn't work that way. You know, certain players need more time to develop. And I think we're going to see that with the class, you know, the rookie classes over the last couple of seasons as these guys get better. I mean, look at Keyshawn Vaughn. He was in that draft class too um, from 2020 and he's starting to improve and take his game to uh, different levels. So, yeah, I mean, yes, let's see what's going to happen with him now. Right. Yeah. Take that massive jump up. These, these guys need to play to actually get better. But either way, great, great point. And guys, we're going to figure it out. Again, Tom Brady's your starting quarterback. Don't, don't get blown away that fast. But other than that, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Comment down below. Are you worried about Kyle Trask and his development? Let us know in the comment section. And with that said, until the next one.